Mm -hmm. uh, group chat. Let's go ahead and start it with John and then we'll go to Garrick. John, why don't you lead off with questions for DJ? What's up, DJ? Um, one, like, what was it like getting, you know, your first win at home this year? And then also, too, just how do you think your game has kind of evolved within this system and, and just personally? Um, I feel like um, when my game evolved in the system throughout, just like being able to help my team in any way possible, like if they just rebound and playing defense, offense, like whatever the coach needed me to do, I'll, I'll do it. Let's go ahead and get it to Paul, and then we'll go to Garrett. Paul, why don't you go ahead, and then we'll go to Garrett. DJ, kind of take us through. I think it was a 20-4 to four run in the second half. It kind of put the game away. What was clicking with y'all on offense? It looked like better ball movement, but but what got you in that groove? I feel like our defense really gave us that extra push over the top, and a lot of our guys made good plays for others, and a couple of guys hit a couple of big shots to help us break it over. Uh, DJ, not sure if you were aware or not, but tonight was Coach Howland's 500th career win. Uh, did you guys know about that? And if so, did you uh, were able to congratulate him in the locker room after the game? Yeah, we did know. Uh, do a congratulate him with the game ball and uh, tell him how we were so proud of him to have him as our coach, how blessed we are to have him in, a, in this Hell State program. Let's go ahead and get it to Neil. Neil, why don't you jump in there? Yeah. Hey, Michaela, can you unmute Neil? I can't. Unmute. Technology is a funny thing. Isn't it? Hey, DJ, congratulations <laughs> on the win. And uh, I know you've had to carry a lot of the scoring load for this team in the first three games. What's that been like? Is it something you're comfortable doing? Uh, and how much is it going to help when Iverson Molinar gets back? How will it free you up maybe to do some other things? Um, I feel like. Yeah, I waited my turn to get to the point where I am now. I put in a lot of hard work, and then I just feel like it's just God blessing me, and the hard work is paying off. Um, and when I was to get back, we have, like, a primary ball handler, so I won't really be on the ball as much as I am now. And it was like, it'll open things up for me more down, down the road. You feel like the team took a big step forward tonight, especially in that second half? We did. I feel like the team took a, a very big step especially on the defensive side of uh, the ball when just uh, just playing the screens, playing the screens well, um, just learning from the old games that we had and applying it to the games tonight. What are you telling these young guys? There are a bunch of them out there that have never played in a state uniform before this year. And obviously, even though you're just a red shirt sophomore, you're the old man on this team <laughs> now. What are you telling those guys? Uh, just be yourself. Uh, play your game. Don't let nobody take you out your game. Just be yourself. Thanks, DJ. Okay, let's go ahead and get it to Joel. Any other questions for DJ after Joel? Just go ahead and queue him up in the in the in the queue for us. DJ, just kind of following up on uh, one of the things that Neil asked you, but uh, of course, with with Robert and Reggie gone, it was pretty obvious coming into the season that you were going to have to shoulder a lot of that offensive load. Just how much did you think of that coming into this season? How much, I guess, pressure did you put on yourself knowing that? when it comes to making up for that production, you were going to have to be a, a big, big part of that. Yeah, uh, it really wasn't no pressure. Um, if I just do, like, play ball the way I know how to, then I feel like everything can take care of itself. Anything else for uh, DJ before we let him go? All right, thank you.